evening, friends and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we're on February 8th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. It was a cold one. Hey, what's up, everybody? I just want to give a shout out to all those people who are working out in the cold there. You know, it's minus 25 outside. There's people that got to you know, clean the sidewalks for us, and I just want to give a big shout out to anybody who's out there working in this damn cold. The fan. I mean, look at this guy right here. So yeah, big shout out to everybody who's working out in these extreme cold conditions across this nation, as the temperatures are set to dip even further, minus 29 by Monday. Got icicles on his face, man. Thanks, dude. Appreciate all you do, brother. So yeah, thank you to even my sister. I know that's her job right now too. So last seven days, this is the visible image from the geostationary satellite. And we've just got low pressure after low pressure system coming from the north all along the western side of the Rockies. And that's why the temperatures are dipping down to minus nine in some parts of Vancouver. And there is tons of snow falling across Washington California and Alberta seems to be missing all this snow we got about three centimeters overnight hence the snowblower guy and again thank you for giving me uh, permission to film you I wanted to share you know the hard work that all you guys do and I wanted to personally thank you so that's what I did so we're looking at the last seven days total precipitable water or sorry the last 48 hours but this is across the planet and looking at this large huge cyclonic looking low pressure system and it's actually two low pressure systems one of them is an area of interest most likely will be a cyclone over Vanuatu now the one on the left side looks like it will be heading west but if these two join forces which I think they will and I predicted they will this will be a massive and epic storm. It seems to be getting bigger. And you look at those waves. I don't know what's going on there. But you see those waves heading across the images? It seems to intensify these low pressure systems. And I've seen it happen time and time again when I study these images every day. Looking here, over Cyclone Funani, who is still now a category three storm heading as i said straight to antarctica five day forecast shows it going straight south and then the one to the northwest of it just east of madagascar is going to follow so lots of strange events happening in our pacific ocean and let's look at our five day forecast brought to you by meteor earth and meteor mike and today this forecast is very snowy for Washington State and very cold. Now they're going to be receiving probably a year's worth of snowfall over the next three days and still watching large low pressure system, one right after another, go into that same area. And it's a reoccurring pattern. Those are coming from the north and they are cold low pressure systems. Look at that. So watch for all across eastern Canada, mixed precipitation as Colorado low moves across, another nor'easter forms. But the polar vortex is bringing down a lot of cold temperatures. And here in Alberta, it doesn't seem like it'll be rising much at all to maybe minus 18 as a high for the next five days. So bundle up, stay warm, and thank you for watching. I just want to give a shout out to everybody watching today. Over 6,000 subscribers, and I thank you so much. I want to thank everybody who has shared, liked, commented. Please keep doing what you're doing. Share the love with your friends and family from across the world so we can all stay aware and prepared during this grand and epic time on planet Earth. Overlooking South America, still going to be watching torrential downpours over the next few days as things are really heating up in the Southern Hemisphere, in South America, and of course, Australia. But Northeastern parts of Australia, 
kind of cooled off. They had seven days straight of rain and there are flood warnings all, all across Queensland, Townsland and northeastern parts of Australia. But watching in South America as well and also the five day forecast here shows cyclonic development across Vanuatu. I haven't looked at any uh, possible names yet for this storm, so this is still in just an area of interest. But it looks to be getting organized, and there is just mass amounts of moisture all along the equator. Things are increasing globally. And that's what happens when we have a collapsed magnetosphere. And we've got cosmic charged particles, you know, penetrating our magnetosphere, our ionosphere. Get large events like this, deep lower level trough. That This low pressure system, oh look at that, good timing here. High surf advisory for Hawaii. This is what I was going to talk about. This low pressure system spins around and hangs around Hawaii for about three or four days. Now we've, we've been watching the same thing in Australia. So pay attention everybody. I want to thank you for watching and you're, you're staying aware and prepared as I'm doing my research, my research and I'm sharing it with the world. Big picture is cold, North America, and a snowy Washington, Oregon. Oregon. Watch for this low pressure system. Seven day forecast, probably being, bring a big storm to Alberta. Now the sun. Our very inactive sun has shown a little bit of life here, some strange anomalies. now our inactive sun but our very active earth with a lot of earthquakes last 24 hours most recent was this 5.0 in russia a lot of earthquakes along the russia plate line as well as general luna philippines 5.9 largest being there but this is an earthquake swarm as there are many fours and fives in this same area 4.5 as well jakarta and a 5.4 here in the Western Indian Ridge. South America, Peru, Paramanga, Peru. A lot of earthquakes in the Dominican Republic. And big shout out to Don. He's headed there soon. Enjoy your stay in the Dominican. Stay aware and prepared. Perry, Oklahoma with a 2.5 today. But still looking at a very quiet zone. Cascadia fault line, San Andreas fault line. We'll have to see what happens here in the coming week. As we do have Mercury coming in for a retrograde soon. And then things will ramp up again with seismicity and volcanic activity from around the world. Look for also a volcanic activity report, which I'll be releasing soon. I want to thank you all for watching today. This is the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Bye bye.
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.